So right now we are in the process of doing an investigator initiated clinical study with the cooperation of the CT medical company from Catania in Sicily. And we are exploring the effects and the clinical outcomes of their new IOL called EvoLux. And so far we have implanted 70 IOLs, 15 of them bilaterally. What I can tell you right now, and this is our very, very early on, that this lens might redefine what we consider an enhanced monofocal. The focus curve shows a minimum of 1.5 diopters of useful vision, and if you stretch it out a little bit, you get even two diopters. What that means is that our cataract patients are receiving an uncompromised distance visual acuity, very, very, very useful intermediate, and even some near vision so they can read larger print. If they hold their phone out, they sometimes are able to use their phone out. What surprised me, really, was the defocus cure. We were able to obtain a, the, an extension of the depth of focus close to almost two diopters. This is a definition that is close to that uh, pointed out by the American Academy of Ophthalmology for ED of IOS, even if this is still labeled as a monofocal. So if these data are confirmed by larger samples, I would say that uh, we will have probably the best enhanced monofocal uh, with a, a very little distinction compared to traditional ED of IOLs. Well, see, the Avalox is, is a quite new lens. So I think this lens lends itself to monovision, to be combined with monovision like many other lenses too and will hopefully um, you know, give patients very good intermediate vision and maybe even some very useful near vision, especially when, when you do it with vision. The lens ha has a well-known material. It's a material which is glistening-free, hydrophobic acrylic. It's made by the company itself. It has been well documented to be glistening-free. I think that's important to say. The way the surface profile is made uh, makes sense from a perspective that you shouldn't um, await any dysphotopsia like you have with diffractive lenses. Um, and it should give you this enhanced depth of focus, which we're all looking for, and especially if you combine it with more vision, even better so. Well, I think it should be a patient who says, you know, I want good distance vision, and this is a really distance focused lens, which I like, because uh, distance is very important for me and mostly for patients. But all those patients, and these are many, they say, you know what, if I read, long time reading, I could use glasses, that's not a problem. But when I go shopping, when I go outside, I don't want to have glasses. I think these are the, the, the ideal patients, and there are many, many of things. I think I think these are actually the majority of the patients. My therapeutic for all type of cataracts that they are not suitable for the trifocal lens. If the patient is not suitable for different uh, features, uh, my main option now. As the monofocal, enhanced monofocal, it's evolution. When you have super premium IOLs, which are promising full range vision correction, the price is high, but the expectations are even higher. You have these enhanced monofocal lenses. You have a price which is slightly higher than what would be normal. You are not promising almost anything, but you always deliver more. So it's kind of like an under promise over deliver situation. You tell them you're going in for cataract surgery, you will need reading glasses, you will need glasses for your computer, but you will see great distance vision. And they are happy, that's what they're signing up. Next few days, they recover, they come back and say, doctor, but I don't need glasses for a computer. And you're like, what, really? Uh, but sometimes I can even read my phone if I pull my hand out. So you have this additional bonus feature. So Evolux and this whole category of lenses is allowing us to promise less and deliver more at a great price point. We are still conducting randomized blind clinical study in order to compare the well fusion system with the trifocal uh, IOLs. We can say that patients with fusion systems experience a satisfaction for the distance visions 
compared to the trifocal patients. But in terms of intermediate and near visions, fusion system patients seem to be higher, they experience higher satisfactions because the visual performance is very good. In the same study, we ask our patients to fill a questionnaire after three months of surgery in order to investigate their satisfaction and their symptoms. So the fusion systems have similar result in highlight conditions to the trifocal, but is quite understandable because when we have high level of luminescence, the trifocal patients use mainly the central part of the lenses and a little bit of the diffractive one. But when we ask to the patient in mesopic or scotopic conditions, the value is very different. They experience less hollows, less ghost image, and something like that. Due to this result, I think all the patients that want to be spectacle independent after cataract surgery is suitable for the fusion system. impression that the neural adaptation process is much quicker and much earlier than any diffractive lens I've used.